My Ben C. What's up, family? First of all, let me start off. Thank you for watching Osmo Hip Hop. This your God bless one. Um, I wanted to talk about this, man. I've seen it a while ago, but I haven't seen really a lot of bloggers talking about it. But man, in this rap, battle rap community, we're all family, whether we want to be family or not, or associated with one another. So as you guys seen the news lately, Street Star Norbs, aka Norbs, aka you know the A N R for Smack U R L. But anyways, man, Street Star Norbs, aka the Grill. But I'm just talking shit, but. Street Star Norbs ain't feeling too well. He has personal things he has to handle right now. And I'm not going to leave any, you know, false things that are going on. Because I don't really know what's going on. I just know he has personal things to handle. And me being one who's a family man myself, I know when times get hard, you just want to step away from a little bit, man. He will be back. He's just handling things right now. But as you can see, Debo has now taken over his space. And Debo has stated on Twitter that Norbs called him up and actually ask him personally can he step in for him and you know Debo over the years has been a interesting person in battle rap man the way he hasn't given up on female battle rap I gotta commend him and give him kudos on that he has never never shied away from voicing his opinion on anything that's going on in battle rap so I gotta give Debo a lot of respect and it's good to see Debo interacting even more on the URL platform because he's low-key or uh, He's an invisible partner of the URL. I, I like to always say that. Over like seven years of watching him, you know, coexist with the URL brand and never really beefing with them like that. Maybe we had slightly things. Of, I think it was like four and a half years ago. But in, anyways, other than that, he's a great asset to add to the family of URL staff. And I'm loving this transition of Debo as the year's been going up and up and up he has acclimated himself to the culture that means he hasn't been the old bitter guy hating on people he is he's actually adapted to whatever um you know what i'm saying uh disaster moments that has happened to his league that could have taken him out the way but he's came back and he has another up and coming card go support debo on that now with that being said let's not get away from the point of doing this blog what i wanted to talk about i really wanted to focus on norbs i don't know what's personally going on brother but i i hear you bro when i hear people interject certain things like that and ask people to step in things might be a little bit serious i don't know how serious or maybe it's just a break but to me that is a break when a human wants to i mean it is a serious thing when a human wants to take a break that suggests maybe things are going um certain type of way in your life where it might be hectic or it might be just a little draining and i'm hoping whatever's going on man is is nothing that serious and i know your family man i seen what debo also wrote so i'm hoping it's nothing kids related and if it is i hope whatever hardship it is you subdue it and you get out the way and you become immune to it and you have the strength to overcome it we all have roadblocks we have to hurdle and jump over and sometimes it can seem like a distance thing to talk about where family because it seems like it's more better when people attack each other in this culture because you get more views you get more clout quote unquote views of people like saying but I, I just like looking at it as you know what man when a human is hurt the best remedy and medicine is for another human to encourage that person and cheer them up so i don't know what's going on i don't know if people don't pay homage to you properly like they're supposed to but you know over the years i've always paid homage and i'm gonna continue to pay homage i've also came at you when the time was needed to come at you but more so i've always just stayed my in my lane, in the words of um, LeVar Ball, I stayed in my lane and looked at it from this aspect. This man has a lot of heat he's taking all the time, but look at his job and what it is to do. He can't win. If he goes this way and voices his opinion this way, he loses, he voices that way, he loses. And if you guys are in battle rap, period, whether you're a blogger or league owner or anything like that, you know <laughs> the fans, man, they're fickle. You can never have it your way, and it can lead to a stressful situation. It's like, wait a minute, I can change up and do it like this. They're still not happy. I change it and do it that way. They're still not happy. So, man, like, you gotta have, you gotta build up a infrastructure in your head that's a defense mechanism where you block all that loud noise of hearsay and such and such out. out. That's what I've done. I, I've, I've done that even in my military days, and I'm real great at that. And some days, I fall victim to my own you know, my own crap I throw out in the air, because whatever energy you throw out there, just be prepared for that same energy to be thrown back at you, that's the thing a lot of people are not prepared for, not saying Norbs isn't ready to handle his energy, just more speaking in a larger terms of thing, in a larger spectrum of things, I just honestly, man, wanted to wish this brother a 
safe return back to battle rap but to be honest with you battle rap versus family is not life although i like to say battle rap is my life but family always come first and brother i understand expeditiously that you have to handle your job and that's what comes with being a man in the family man and that also is making me have more utmost respect for you that i already had for you because you showing clearly that your family is first and this battle rap thing comes secondary but at the same time you're showing your level of care for battle rap by taking the most best replacement you can have is um it's going to be uh, Debo. Debo is not going to just pick any random person during this PG because Debo is going to host the PGs for now. He's not just going to be giving kudos to random people. Hey, I want you to come and be in the PGs because I want some clout. Nah, Debo will tell you how it is. If you want somebody more boisterous to tell you guys, I think this person lost or this person won or whatever, Debo is your man. So, man, I love battle rap, man. I just, man, it's, I don't know how to explain it to you guys. This is not one of these videos I'm doing. Where I'm in my feelings or I'm talking bad about this person that this is actually a authentic video where I'm just like, you know what? I'm in my feelings today in a good way. You know what? Battle rap just been in a, a great space. I I haven't seen the last time. I've seen it in like I've seen it in a lot of good space, but I'm talking about great space where from the league owners, the battlers, the bloggers, everybody including battle rap, the fans where the energy is just feeling contagious right now. And I don't know if that vibration is coming to you guys, but it's contagious right now, man. And when you're in a good spirit, man, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have people dislike this video. I've always said that. And to be honest with you, it's not life if you don't have those people disliking the video. So let them. Leave them to their own agenda. I don't know what reasons they have for it. Maybe it helps them feel better. And if it helps them feel better, then more power to you. Also, if my words doesn't help you, I'm pretty sure it'll help that one person out of 100 of you, out of 300, 400. And that's that's what we do this video, guys, is to give that same energy to help somebody else. I'm on. I'm honestly regretting why I haven't done more videos. Like I've done video helping people out, but I've seen even myself, it helps out because we, we tend to talk about other people in the third person as if we don't look at ourselves in the same light when we're looking at that mirror. But I do. I look at some corrections I need to do for myself as well. Not just for the battle rap culture, but in life as itself. So, Norbs, once again, by the, fact, by the fact that you're taking your time out to fix whatever you need to fix or handle whatever you need to fix or whatever break you need to fix, basically you're making yourself better as an organism. And I have to say salute to you, man. I'm looking from afar, and we, we see what you're going through, bro. So much respect to you, man. Come back, come back stronger. And Debo, man, I've been rocking with you for ages, man. I know you're going to make things happen, bro. And like I tell man, you guys, man, love your family, love your kids, and stay blessed, man. Keep that same energy, guys.